All right, Marty, thank you. It is 741 in your community. In one week, Cannon Dagwa will open the doors on the new Sands Family YMCA. And gosh, we are so excited to see mm -hmm. all of the features it has to offer the community. We have been waiting for this facility. This morning, we're getting a preview of that new center and some of the events they have all ahead of the grand opening. We're joined this morning by Executive Director of the Sands Family YMCA, Jason Godfrey. Jason, thank you so much for waking up and coming in. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. So this is this has been a year in the making. Now we broke ground one year ago, yeah, right July. around now, correct? Yep. Okay. Um, you know, talk to us about getting here. A lot yeah. of work went into this. A lot of work. A lot of work still going on. Yeah, even I'm though sure. we're one week away. But yeah, a lot of work from the construction teams, our, our capital campaign, raising the money to actually make this happen, um, and our staff team preparing, preparing to deliver to this community what they deserve. And deliver, you guys certainly have. We're talking about such a big project. Multiple multiple gyms, turf field, yeah. several pools. What else can people expect from these renovations? Yeah, so those are some great highlights. We're also, um, we're, we're adding a teaching kitchen where we'll have families in there and kids in there doing some junior chef programs. Um, you mentioned the gyms and the pools. We're gonna have a splash pad that's inside so people can use that all year round um, and learn to swim programs as well. Uh, just, I'm sorry, you said pools. Yes. Multiple? Yeah, multiple pools. I think multiple pools and a splash pad indoors? Yeah, for sure, yeah. It, it, you know, listen, we're in Rochester, right? So as we just heard the weather, we're lucky right now, but we need something <laughs> indoors year-round in more months than, than not. So having that indoor splash pad is going to be, and pool, lap pool for family, or lap pool and family pool just to be. It's going to be great. Really incredible. Talk to us, uh, if you can, about the, the financial journey to get here and make sure that this facility is, you know, a premier space sure. in our community. Yeah, well, you know, it all started with the, the history of the Y in Canandaigua and the, the people that used to go to that Y, the Sands family, who had experiences all through their life at the YMCA and got to the point where the facility was outgrown and they realized that the impact that the Y had on them was important enough to then invest in that community by, by providing a, a gigantic gift for us to start and build this Y. And uh, we're so thankful for that. These additions will really create so many new opportunities for those who live and work in that area. Can you sure. speak a little bit about some of the ways this will help yeah. people just beyond keeping them entertained and occupied? Yeah, I think that, you know, we're gonna add in programs from uh, STEM that are is unique again to our, our facility down there where kids are gonna be there, teenagers in the afternoon, preschoolers during the day, art classes, STEM classes. Again, we talk about the kitchen, bringing our, our active older adults together with our younger crowd and on, on, you name it, whether it's farm to table and working on things like that, nutrition seminars. This facility, again, will serve all. And I think that's the other thing that's unique is that the facility is going to be for all. We, we don't want anybody to not be able to come to the Y because of the inability to pay. And so access is a huge piece of this, not just the, the great things and the amenities inside, but make sure that we have people in there through our experience scholarships. Well, and it's really access for everyone within the greater Rochester community. Do we need to have special passes to show up once it's finally open? How do people gain entrance? Yeah, great. So. Um, we're a member of the YMCA of, YMCA of Greater Rochester, so that makes a passport membership gets everyone in the door if you're a YMCA member. Um, the other side of that is that this weekend we have an open house. We have an open house on Saturday and Sunday to come out, check out the facility, meet our staff, and, and see what it's all about. So come on down this weekend. You'll get an opportunity to get in the building and hopefully join the Y and, and then be able to experience. You must be hearing stuff, uh, feedback from those who live in the community who have seen this whole thing transform, you know, all the way from the, the construction crews sure. working there now to this being almost finished. What are you hearing from people? Excitement. Uh, anx anxiousness to just want to be back and to see everybody and to get in our facility and and like I said it's so different you know our old facility very different from the new one and, and state of the art all the things that we're going to be able to offer and, and offer fitness and wellness a holistic approach so different from what yes. what we had in the past such important things mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here really fast when are you guys having your big grand opening and what do people need to know yeah great so this weekend Saturday and Sunday we'll have open houses from 10 to 4 on Saturday and 10 to 4 Sunday um, Tour the facility, walk the facility, except meet our staff. And then on Monday morning, 5.30 a.m., October 2nd, we will open to, to everybody. Is there a ribbon cutting plan for 5.30 <laughs> a.m.? Not, not, not a ribbon cutting, no. But okay. we will have, a, you know, a, we'll be standing there unlocking the doors, and, and I bet there will be a, a line of people waiting to come in, as there is usually every morning. I'm Perfect. sure there will. Yeah. Thank you again for coming in. We really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll post all of this information and more on our website, foxrochester.com, after the show. And, hey, coming up... Up, we are learning about a local art exhibit that you can become a part of. 
More on that after the break.